Ah, oh, water, they call it the source of life, and in fact it is a source of great life for plants and animals and people too. But you know, water is actually a very precious commodity. To get the water delivered to our homes, the water we use, it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of effort, and it takes a lot of cost. That's why it is so important for each of us to conserve water as best as we can because it is such a precious commodity. Now let me tell you, at home, the greatest water user use, according to studies, is when we landscape. When we water our lawns, when we water our gardens and our flowers, that uses up statistically more water than just about anything we, uh, else we do in our house. So I'm going to start by giving you a few tips on how you can conserve water at home. Firstly, be real aware of how much you water your lawn. If you overwater your lawn or any of your landscaping to the point that it's running off into the street or, or the gutters, well, you're overwatering. And when you overwater, not only does it waste water, but when that water runs off your lawn into the storm drain and, and your waterways where it receives no treatment. So when you overwater, it carries all those pesticides and pollutants into the storm drain and runs out to your rivers or if you're near the ocean into the coastal waterways. Now, the next thing you need to do is think when you plant things, make sure that they are sort of drought, drought tolerant types of plants. And if you don't know what a drought tolerant plant is, well, you can go to your nearest nursery or garden and guard, garden place and ask them, you know, what are some things that um, are drought tolerant plants? There's usually a staff there that can give you lots of great ideas. Now, we move from the yard into your home. Now, in the home, the two biggest users of water are when you wash your clothes and when you take showers. And I won't even bother telling you to take, uh, you know, shorter showers. We've all heard that a million times. But I give you some tips you might not have thought of with your washing machine, which is a great user of water. First of all, make sure you buy a, a washing machine that has a star appliance rating so you know it uses less water and less energy. And when you load clothes in there, try to make the loads as full as possible so you use all that water to wash a full load of clothes. With those kind of tips and other ones, I'm sure you can use your creative ingenuity to think of. Conserving water will become a habit and will make our environment even better and help us all to live a little more gently on the earth. If you would like more information about how you can conserve water at your home or your business, well, the, department, the California Department of Water Resources has a wonderful website available that can give you all kinds of ideas about water conservation. Check into it and you'll learn a lot. Thanks for tuning in.